Good morning, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> today I'm gonna ha I'm a I'm doing a video for the Angels broadcast number forty nine series for Monday because I have a prayer meeting tonight. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to go live with with you all. But I was reading the book of Philippians this morning, and God reminded me of something. So today. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God, for everything you have done. Lord, that <clears throat> as I decrease, Holy Spirit, you increase over me. And I decree and declare right now, let this word be a seed to go inside of people today. And let their faith arise as the blood of Jesus Christ is pleaded over the spirits of each person that the seed of this word will not be stolen by the enemy but it will grow to the point that people <clears throat> will seek your face and believe with faith that you went to the cross for them jesus christ and that you shed your blood at calvary for them and lord that they ask for forgiveness of their sins as they believe with faith that if they just believe that you went to the cross for them jesus christ that you are in fact the begotten son of god and that abba father loved us so much that he sent you as a willing sacrifice because the word says that and you were also talking about yourself and you were also and others were talking about themselves that the greatest love that any man can show is for him to give his life for another in Jesus mighty name amen and i thank you lord that even as i read this scripture it has to deal with your sentient being messengers in whom you created in your army for they are your host lord that we don't worship the angels we worship you even the angels bow at you and i thank you i thank you for this reminder even out of hebrews chapter 1 and chapter 2 that jesus christ you were made lower than the angels so that you can legally come to this earth and take humanity's sins upon you and because you went to the cross for us and you sacrificed your life for us. We are redeemed in your blood, Jesus Christ. Thank you because you paid the price for us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, I'm going to start in verse 5 and I'm going to read down until the Holy Spirit tells me to stop. Then I'm going to uh, tell you what I saw, okay? But I wanted to start out with the word and a prayer. And today it says right here in verse 5 of Philippians chapter 2. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men that my friend <clears throat> is god humbling himself stepping out of eternity into time so that you might be saved <clears throat> and he is the word of God made flesh. Jesus Christ is the word of God made flesh. And I confess that today. And it's beautiful because this is <coughs> Jesus humbling himself. This is God humbling himself. Being made himself to be a servant. He became a servant. 
in the likeness of men, in the likeness of us. <clears throat> and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, <clears throat> my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling for it is god which worketh in you to will and to do of his good pleasure and when he says god in you that's the holy spirit right now i want to get out and i want to show you something okay and i'm going to turn the camera around i'm at the park um i'm not even a block down the road from where I work. Okay, I'm at the City Park in Commerce, Texas. I'm at one of them. <laughs> and I'm going to walk out here right now. All right, once you see around me, of course, let me turn around and get in the shade over here so you can see me better. Okay, <clears throat> what, what you see around me is the sky. And what you see is the sky. <clears throat> the angels, the messengers of God, and even the warriors for God is the Lord's host the Lord's army that's one of them and when we pray and when we seek God and we read the word the angels listen to the word of God and they go out and obey the word of God and to do what he says out of Psalm 103 it talks about 10320 <coughs> angels hearken under the voice of God okay so what I'm saying about that is when I have been in the spirit in the supernatural I have literally seen the angels bow in the throne room toward God <clears throat> because what I just read to you is that every knee should bow and every tongue confess in many languages of the world that Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to God in the highest. That's what I hear the angels confess that's what i heard of them and in the background right now <clears throat> is i'm seeing a light beyond the sunlight yes there is sunlight but i'm seeing a light see the sunlight y'all that's phenomenal so what i say about that is that even in the sunlight i still see the light of God because God is light
and in him there is no darkness in Jesus name so today <laughs> I wanted you to know that that I have literally in the last few days been at the throne of grace and as the saints of God were worshiping bunches of people billions of people from around the world and it's like I hear it in heaven and then it's like sometimes I can see the windows open up <coughs> of different places on earth and people are praising God and as people are praising and worshiping God God will flock God will go God will inhabit the praises of his people I hear the words hallelujah hallelujah and even the angels literally I have seen them bow in front of Jesus <laughs> because Jesus is God made flesh all right I got to go to work this is um, number 49 angels among us broadcast but I wanted to share that word with you today um, it's it's unfortunate that I had to tape it today but at least it's done and I wanted to give you something of the word of God all right God bless you and bye-bye have an awesome Monday wherever you are in the world <laughs>